grade students at Bothell's Woodmore Elementary School became Como for problem solvers today. As part of their sixth grade graduation tradition, students usually donate a legacy gift, perhaps a painting or a sculpture or a park bench. But this year, Como for's Michelle Esteban reports those students chose to give their money to one of our problem solver recipients, James O'Neill. Hey guys, how you doing? Everywhere he goes, people know his name. Hi, James. Hi, James. And they all want to help James O'Neill. A genetic disorder has disfigured his face, and since late May, the community and the Como 4 problem solvers have teamed together to help James. Today, the youngest problem solvers got on board. Good morning, sixth grade class of Woodmore Elementary. Every year, Woodmore's graduating sixth graders leave a legacy gift before they head off to junior high. Usually a piece of art or a park bench, but this year? This year we are taking a different approach and acknowledging the thought that the most important things in life are not things, but people. The Woodmore Elementary sixth grade class of 2008 has chosen instead to name James O'Neill as the recipient of this year's legacy gift. The class raised $600 for James, selling root beer floats and holding a bacon book sale. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. How's your day going? James, a checker at Safeway in Kirkland, was born with neurofibromatosis. He didn't think surgery was financially day. possible until one of his Safeway customers created a fundraising website and called the Problem Solvers. Together, we've raised over $100,000. When Elise Jansen heard James' story, she nominated him for the Legacy Fund. Everyone knows him and everyone loves him. He's a really nice person. Most of the students know James from the Safeway store. James, we're really happy that this is all happening. It's cool that I get to share a part in it. And it makes James feel pretty cool, too. Love it, love it, James. Now, he told me he loves talking to kids, so it was neat that they were all together today because they're not afraid to ask about his condition. Now, because of the eye patch, kids who shop at Safeway, they call him the good pirate, and Mary tells me <laughs> he just loves that. He thinks it's the neatest nickname ever. Let's get a big crack out of that one. Thank yeah, you so much for that sure. update, Michelle. And Michelle will have much more on James's story on Wednesday. Wednesday's a big day for James because he's meeting with his doctor for the very first time. If you'd like to help James, go to our website and click on the Problem Solver Fund. Coming up in HealthWorks, how a change in lifestyle could change your genetic risk for cancer. Plus, cancer-sleeping puppies from South Korea and how that government